legendary divine David, assisted by Jay Cloth, my avant guardian angel. We seek to help people with problems within Manchester and absolve them. Hello, here we are at Huff End Field awaiting a football match which will commence in about three days' time. In the interim, I'm going to speak to Linda, Stan and Bob of the St. John Ambulance about the service, its foundation, its work and also to try and help them in their recruitment campaign for more members so that this very worthwhile work can continue. It's lovely to be amongst you all today in beautiful sunshine. Well, Bob, at the moment you seem to be having a problem recruiting new members to the service. Why do you think this is? I think one of the major problems is that in this day and age, in modern society, the pressures that people have, they don't have the time. People are busy working, you know, to pay off the mortgage and stuff like that. I mean, people still give money to St John, but that is only a short-term fix because really we need new influx of members, we need new blood, younger people coming through because yeah. obviously as the older members mm. get older yeah. um, they're going go to ultimately new, yeah. drop off the edge of the conveyor <laughs> yeah. belt. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, we really do need um, new members. I'd like to ask you about St John himself who must have been the inspiration for the organisation. Um, could you tell me a little bit about St John? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, if anybody knows about St John, that would be interesting. Well, it goes back to the Crusaders, doesn't yeah. it? 900 years back. The Crusaders, when they went out fighting, uh -huh. then coming back, there was the members then was looking after yeah. the people what got uh, injured. So, in a way, the Crusaders were attacking people in war, mm. but then <clears throat> patching them up as well. <laughs> it started so. off as a religious war. Uh -huh. And so they were actually going out fighting for their religion. But obviously, as the war progressed, mm -hmm. people were getting injured and they found a need for first um, And so at that stage, that's when they set up the um, first hospital in Jerusalem. Um, right. And then from there, um, volunteers um, have helped at the hospital. Mm -hmm. It became a worthwhile cause and so it went international um, in all different countries and yeah. it was set up in England, um, when, well in Great Britain in 1878. Wow, fantastic. You've been with the St John Ambulance for a number of years. Um, I believe you joined when you were eight years old. That's right, yes. <laughs> so what would an eight-year-old do within the St John Ambulance you know, at eight, say, what would you what would you do? Well, we actually have badges for six to ten year old, right. and they come along and they do different badges. It's mm -hmm. not just first aid that they do. They have nine different badges. They have games badges, healthy badges, first aid. Badges. Firefighting, uh, Fire ambulance fighting, aid, so radio communication, everything. It's everything. very comprehensive. It's not just isn't first it? aid. It's a wide range of yeah. activities. And above all, though, it's, it's it can be fun. I mean, it's yeah. um, it's a club. Yeah. It's a lot of things. I mean, people come along to learn things, but they also come along for the sense of camaraderie and yeah. what have Which you. Which is really palpable, you yeah. know, it's, it's wonderful to be amongst you, it really is. <laughs> I dare say that sometimes there might be a bit of romance. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. We better not tell those secrets. <laughs> well, you all, look, you all look well on it anyway, whatever's going on, you know, just We could say a few things. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, well, maybe later. Yeah. <laughs> there must be perks, mustn't there, to the work that you do. Um, there are indeed, yes. St John covers a wide range of activities from your local church fate to big football matches at United, at uh, Manchester City. Fantastic. We cover the MEN Arena so we get to see some really good uh, pop concerts or your Disney on Ice and things like that. So, so really, really, I mean people could have range. the 
opportunity of seeing David Beckham's legs at quite close quarters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You could see them at quite close quarters. Do you, do you ever feel like running on and doing a bit of impro improvised <laughs> physiotherapy, you know? Yeah. Yeah. You seem quite a hot-blooded type of person. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and also, sort of the antithesis to the idea of the St. John Ambulance being perhaps a bit sort of fusty and old-fashioned and that sort of thing. Having met you and us all having a laugh and a good time uh, and the beautiful spirit of community that you radiate, um, it would be a lovely thing to get involved with. Yeah, also, yeah, yeah. the training that you provide. Oh, yeah. How long sort of does the training take, you know, so that you've got the skills so that you can actually attend? Well, Stan's going to show me a few first aid techniques. At the moment, I've fractured my leg and I'm in quite a lot of discomfort. Help me, Stan. Right, David, while well, you've got quite a lot of pain, what I'm going to give you is gas and air. Oh, I love that. Right. What I want you to do, hold it yourself, and yes. make a seal around your mouth and nose and take some deep breaths. <sighs> now, it is self-administered, you know, right? Okay, carry on. Carry on, keep on. Keep on, you'll be okay. You'll be okay. You okay? Mm. Right. Now, if it goes, you just let it go now. Right. David, are you okay? I feel a lot better. I feel a lot better. Mm. When the pain starts again, let me know and you can have some more. Oh, no problem, much. we've got plenty of it. I'd like okay. to spend the rest of my life in pain for gas and air. And then have some more. <laughs> Gorgeous. Yeah. Actually, once you've had enough of it, you will let it just go. Keep in mind. I'm feeling quite okay. greedy, actually. Greedy, greedy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, Thank you very much. Stuff. Yeah, cheers, Linda. Uh, oh, I feel a lot better. Feel a lot better. I can recommend fractured legs. So you've not broke it, you've fractured it, have you? Yes, I think so. Yeah. I think it's just uh, a fracture. Yeah. In fact, the more of this I take, the less I can <laughs> feel it. Right, carry on, you're okay. You're okay. That's it. You're okay. Uh, that should be easy in the top. Is it easy in it for you, David? Very much so. Very much so. Yeah. <laughs> uh, take some deep breaths, you're okay. Take some deep breaths. Okay. That's it. Okay. Okay. You seem to be into hospital, and then once we get you into hospital, we'll x ray you. Right. As long as they okay. keep up with the gas and air. Gas and air. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah. When did you last have anything to eat or drink? Uh, well, I had some crunchy nut cornflakes this morning. What time? About eight o'clock, I think. Eight o'clock. Oh. Yeah, yeah. It's okay, just so we, so we can tell them, you know, when we get to hospital, what you've had. Right. No long since. Will they not Re be allowed to operate if I've eaten? No, no, it's around about four hours. Oh, That's why I'm asking so these be questions. Fine by now. It'll yeah. be a fine day. Mm. They might give you somewhere to about eight, nine o'clock tonight if they operate. Oh, you know, yes. yeah. No problem on that. Okay. A bit of brandy would be nice. We just drank it. We yeah. just drank it. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> I just wondered if you get Too some much. brandy on board for medicinal purposes, you know. <laughs> I wish we had. <laughs> yeah, we, we wish we did. Yeah, <laughs> That'd be yeah. nice sometimes. Yeah. You deserve a mm. stiff drink. Yeah. 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 Mm. How are you feeling, eh? Oh, I'm feeling, feeling a lot better. A lot better. Yeah. yeah. It's like being in a dream. Mm. Yeah. World of your own. Yeah.
and I feel in good hands. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's read normal, like, read normal, you'll be okay. Just read normal, you're okay. No problem. Lovely. Yeah. And look at Jay, I think Jay's a bit concerned. Oh, Jay, you okay? Yeah. David, okay. What he's done, he's broke his leg. So what we're doing, we're getting him to hospital, right? He has had some gas on there. I know how you feeling. Hmm? He doesn't speak. No. no. But he gets very concerned. Sorry. If anything happens to me, yeah. he gets very concerned. Yeah. I suppose, in a way, you have to deal with relatives well, yeah, who might be yeah. concerned about yeah. the injury of a loved mm -hmm. one. So what we're doing, we're yeah. reissuing the... Yes, relatives right, as well, yeah. you see. Hmm? Well, Jay's my spiritual entity, yeah. and he gets very disturbed mm. if anything happens I'm to me, you yeah. know, yeah. so... And it's lovely that you're there to reassure him well, that I'm to going to be OK. Be able you know. to stay with you all the time. There's yeah. no problem with Oh, that's that. great. Well, it's not very quiet. OK. Good. Anything else you want to ask? Are you well, OK? It's looking like he's bringing the blind down. <laughs> yeah. Died. Yeah, died. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what happens? They're supposed to pass on. <laughs> Would you have to bring the blind down? Sure, no, see. Yeah. Yeah, or just stop the ambulance and throw me out. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know, get back, get on to the next job. Yeah, I only want that. Yeah. Take up valuable space. Yeah. How's your leg feeling now, David? Oh, it's absolutely marvellous. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. It feels like it's mended. But... Well, it will do, because the gas in there does yeah. take the pain away. Yeah. You know, but... Once you get it, seems it to you take will everything get it away. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what else do you want to yeah. take? Well, you hear of air hostesses yeah. getting addicted to us. Oh, yeah. air, you can you? get addi really addicted to this as well. Yeah. You know? So yeah. that's why it is self administered. Right. We don't hold this on for you. Not like the oxygen. No, no, no injuries anywhere else, have you? What's your leg? Um, none that I really want to sort of reveal at the moment. <laughs> you know, this is sort of a bit ongoing, really. <laughs> <laughs> I keep missing the appointment. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, Jay's yeah. putting a blanket on. Blanket on. Thanks very much, Jay. He worries that I'll get cold. It's nice, isn't it? Everybody should have an avant guardian angel. They should, yeah. 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 Okay, Are you warm enough now? Yes, I am mm. very much so, yeah. thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and with the skills of the St John Ambulance yeah. and the tender care of, of Jay, I'm going to be mm. all right. Yeah. Mm. You'll be okay. I'll be back on that football pitch as soon as possible. Right. Okay. Mm. Pampers. Pampers, swaying gently in the breeze. Is Pampers really the focus of this? Pampers, sinister. We're on our way to Thelwall to investigate the slashing of Pampers grass by the so-called Anti-Pampers League. What we find when we get there could be anybody's guess. I don't know if Jay and I are really prepared for what we're about to experience. Here we are in Thelwall on the trail of the Pampers situation, particularly the work of the Anti Pampers League. This is the Divine David somewhere near Warrington. There he is. There they are. That's George. Oh, right. How do you do, George? George, pleased to meet you. What's your name? Before I talk to you, I'm going to get a drink in. Uh, my name's the Divine David. It's lovely to be here. I've come on the trail of the Pampas, and we must have an in-depth <coughs> discussion about Pampas. Just after I've got my drink, if that's OK. No problem. Yeah. Yet. Hello. Hello. What's your Hello. name? Well, I'm, I'm the last name, Mr. Wolverine. Oh, how do you? Pleased to meet you. Pleased to meet you. Uh, the Divine David, J. Clark. I do. My uh, avant-guardian angel. I'm just wondering, do you have two glasses of medium white wine? 
Yeah, there is. Oh, that'll be lovely. That'll be fantastic. We like German things, don't we, Jay? Well, it's a lovely place, isn't it? Isn't it beautiful? Hello. We're here to talk about pampas mm. and pampas grass. Does anybody know anything about it? Yeah, apparently there's a big outbreak. It's been gone for of, three months now. For three months. What's been going on? What's your name, by the way? Well, we'll leave the name of that. No, it's okay. been gone about three months. Right. Yeah. Yeah. What's happening? What's going well, on? Well, somebody's threatening to cut it all down because they don't agree with it. That's all. I don't right. Know. Are you pro pampas grass? Or no, I'm. Or? I'm for it. You're for yeah, it. Yeah. yeah. And you're quite prepared to, to speak out about yeah, it. Yeah, my soil's not good enough to grow it, see. Has anybody heard of the anti pampas League? Yeah, we've all heard of it, yeah. Yeah, it's an actual organisation. Yeah. You I think people. people have been having death threats? The people who grow pampas grass. Uh, I won't go as far as that, but they said they'd, they'd kill them. Right, yeah. What, perhaps pour a bit of bleach on mm. their pampas? They like the grass cut short around here, because this pampas grass is higher. Yeah, yeah. They're against it. <coughs> right. I have noticed... Because you can hide behind it if you're a burglar. Right. Yeah. So that could be part yeah, of the problem, could not it? And people's dislike of pampas. It could be harbouring criminals, that's what you're saying. I think so. Yeah. yeah. I think it so. It seems to be that there's a species of pampas around here that's particularly high. It is. Yeah. Very, very high. And people have been receiving threatening posts, mm. um, A friend of mine has, actually. Really? And so he's, he's actually himself. made some money insuring people now yeah. through this pampas grass. Really? Really. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. What, because people need to take out insurance? In case somebody cuts it down. I see. Yeah. yeah. Or in case perhaps in they the road. are in physical danger themselves. Oh, well, yeah. 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 We're very aware that there's an air of intimidation um, around Pampas. And, it really is. You know, some people aren't prepared to sort of talk yeah. on camera about it because of the anti-Pampas yeah. League. I've got a friend over there, Mr. Yeah. Uh -huh. And he only grew it for a, a short while, and he right. had to cut it down through all this smite. Really? Yeah, really, yeah. Well, perhaps I should have a word. I with would. Him. Yeah, Mr. <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Mr. <laughs> oh, right, he, yeah. he, he suffered a lot of the problem of digging it up. Really? Exactly. Yeah. Well, well, we better have a word with him. I would. Yeah. But he's our okay. local. Okay, I'm just going to go over there and right? speak to Mr. Oh, well, he's there. There he is. Mm? That's over there it's watching it. Well, you built walls of bells. Yeah, very good. But apparently he's got something to say about Pampas. Yeah. I would think so, yeah. Ah, and yeah. he's very quiet, very yeah. quiet. Yeah. He might not yeah. do, you see. Hello. Yeah, it doesn't look very talkative today. <coughs> well, I'm very struck that people are being very quiet about Pampas. It's almost as if there's a feeling of intimidation amongst you, as if you can't... We've got to watch what we're saying, haven't we? I wonder what sort of a person would grow pampas grass. If you go and see Keith, uh huh, is an insurance man. Right. Hey. Uh huh. Yeah. And he's avid. He's mad on pampas. Mad on it. He's right. got the tallest pampas grass I've ever seen in my life. As soon as you go to his bungalow, it's there. You can't see his bungalow, but you can't see it. It's a huge one. Do you know the location of the bungalow and the pampas oh, grass? It's, it's, it's about... Straight down past the church here. It's your yeah. first left. Follow the road round, you can't miss it. I wonder if you'd take us to Keith. Your mate, your mate said you had to find a pampas. Could you take us to see Keith? It really is very important. I can't, because I've got a business appointment here later on, you see. Well, we need to speak to him. Yeah. Yep. Well, I think Dave will take him out. Oh, no. Well, you could join us in the car. Oh, no. Jay will be driving. And we can perhaps go and talk to Brian and really get to the bottom of this problem. Just go straight down the road, past the church, and you won't miss it. It's there in his garden. Well, it's been lovely speaking to you. We've got to leave yeah, now he's, he's to fellow. see the pampas in situ. Yeah. I think it's very important that we do that. Uh, thank you very much for speaking to us. I know that it means that you are in a certain amount of personal danger for speaking out pro pampas. Yeah. I appreciate that. All the best. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. All the best. We must away now and film some pampas. All the best to you. Okay. Keep the pampas growing, you know. Don't give in to intimidation. Thank you very much, you're You're very, very brave. You are as well dressed like that.
The people of the Pickering Arms gave us a lead, but it came to nothing. No one will talk. I know. I'm going to phone the police and hear what they have to say about it. It turns out that they are investigating this, but won't divulge information. We'll just have to make our own enquiries. Eventually, we were led to a house which had been a focus for the attacks. The people who lived there would not talk on camera for fear of reprisals, but did tell us what this is all about. <coughs> The victimisation is real. The Anti-Pampas League exist. They have targeted over 20 houses in the area. Fellwall is hiding a darker truth. The Pampas grass slashing had been used as an excuse to frighten and bully anyone who didn't fit into the village. It wasn't a joke. It was a truly strange place. And we didn't want to be there anymore. Mission discontinued. That was a strange day. The followers of St. John with their generosity and openness, who hopefully we've given some publicity to. And the closed world of Thelwall, those horrible people, with their jokey pampas grass prank and their very real victimization. I'll see you next week with further entertainment at the expense of ordinary people. Cheerio.